Howdy ho neighborinos, we are here today for a Wi-Fi battle, first one on the channel, but second one that I'm going to be doing, going up against our good pal Helios, aka John. So, uh, you can see the team right here, feel free to use the code if you want it, I'll leave it in the description, it is Q's team, so, you know, I guess ask him, but also fuck it, who really cares? Uh, point of this team is to lead with Glamora or Masquerain, depending on what your opponent's team is, and he didn't tell me this, I'm just assuming, so if this is wrong, whatever, but, uh... Dude, Glamora is so good at early game hazards, like just to, to be hit and then to get up T-Spikes is insane. And then also with the webs in the back, it's really nice. The removal, every every removal I've seen so far has just been one of the two Don Pans. So like, you know, having Air Slash uh, to take out the other version is pretty nice too. But um, yeah, so you lead with Glamora or Masquerade, and then you have two big old bulky not bulky, but two big ol' strong dragon types that just absolutely fuck people's teams up. A dragon dance with either one of those things, and I will probably at least claim... Dude, you at least claim one. You don't not claim, you know? Then, uh, we get life orb, surreal Also, triple life orb, which is hilarious. Triple life orb, double sash, and then young boosty energy, which is pretty nice, too. But, um, yeah, so dragon dance dragons. Focus, focus sash leads, and then we got Surreal Edge in the back with the weak armor to potentially have that, uh, you know, that Life Orb Shadow Sneak cleanup. It also does get close combat, which is kind of nice too. And then Iron Treads, which is just an all-around bulky boy, and, uh, well, not really on the spit up side, but you know what I mean. Just a bulky boy with Rapid Spin for hazards and uh, knocking items and whatnot. It's a pretty cool team. It's pretty self, uh, not self, it's pretty straightforward, and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. All right, here we are with the battle versus Helios. He is bringing Iron Valiant. Wait, wait, hold on. He's literally he's br <laughs> he's bringing the team we just used against Lucas. Okay, that's funny as fuck. Uh, Valiant uh, hands <laughs> annihilate uh, Kilo uh, ro treads whatever the fuck roaring whatever Don fan. <laughs> and then a scaly dirge okay so rapid spin in his big old Don fan boy mm, I think we'll just lead Glamora we can get up our T spikes we get up everything and then if straight up if we can get a D dance up with uh, with Roaring Moon we might just win the game he will have fake out on the Hariyama but uh, oh, let me tell him Good luck, have fun. I said G. Good have. <laughs> good have fun look. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Alright, well at least we'll know these six Pokemon because we just used them. This will actually come out before that one. So, you guys will see me fight Lucas uh, tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, this time we're going up against Helios, aka Skillet. I actually know a guy named Skillet. Like, birth certificate, his name is Skillet. You know? I heard he's pansexual. <laughs> Alright, we do lead Glamora. So we get up our Stealth Rocks. Easy peasy. If he wants to freaking, uh, you know, click the button, he can. But I'm gonna get up our Rocks. We could see a U-turn. We could just see... Okay, we do see a U-turn. Nice. We get up our T-Spikes. Also nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, does Don Fan come out here? He very well could. He does go into Great Tusk. We'll get that guy poisoned. That is very nice. That is very nice. We'll also get up our Stealth Rocks. Let's go. Now, we can go into Masquerade here if we want. Um, we do have a Ghost type, so I would be scared to switch out. Because he could, he could also just Earthquake rather than like rapid spin or something so i could go out into our masquerade we could go out into our masquerade um yeah you're ground fighting yeah let's go let's go masquerade that's actually fine because we can giga drain if we uh if he just rapid spins he's still poisoned we can giga drain back up we can get back to full health and we can uh set up a web also intimidate that boy you know he does rapid spin. That still does so much. <laughs> that still does so much, dude. Okay, he does spin those away, but he's taking damage. 
he is in fact taking the damage. And he should be faster than us now, which is unfortunate. But I don't believe he can kill us. So, oh, we can go for Air Slash too. Let's click Air Slash. Why the heck not? He does knock off. He doesn't kill us. Love to see it. Air Slash does take him out. Let's go. So Dawn Fan goes down. Do Masquerade kind of kind of strong, huh? He goes into Kilo Watch Roll, which is going to be this fast as hell bird. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll go into this. We do, in fact, have a switch in. If he clicks, yeah, he actually can't click anything because we are, uh, you know, booster energy. Let's go. Our attack is strong as hell. He does hurricane us. He does miss. We take those. Oh, my webcam's not on. Oh, well, we'll do this one webcamless. You know? <laughs> uh, I'll click knock here. We'll just click knock. I don't think he wants to stay in. He literally can't touch us. So a big knock here will be very nice. Goes out into iron hands. All right. Bet. We'll knock off his assault vest. Now, I think we are actually faster than this guy. So, Earthquake should kill. Because we have the boost. Yeah. Oh, dude. Iron Hands went down. Iron Hands went down, down in an earlier round. We take those. Alright, we take those. I did... Dude, I just used that team. It's a really hard team to use because there's four fucking fighting types. Um... Alright, Annihilate's in. Ooh, but I'm not gonna go Masquerade because he will, uh... He'll freaking, uh, you know, do the thing. I'll go back into Glamora. I don't want to give this guy a Defiant Boost, so we'll go back into Glamora. That way we'll take the damage, but he will get at the T-Spikes again. We live on two. Let's go. T-Spikes go up. T-Spikes go up on a Monday. And we can just... Uh, we'll get up our Stealth Rocks. He does just CC us. So our... Lamora is going to go down. However, he is choice locked into a fighting move. Which means... It is time for Surreal Edge to come out, dude. It's time. He's got Scala Dirge, which could... Which could be an issue. So, hmm. Oh, we can go. Let's go fucking Dragapult, dude. Let's go freaking Dragapult. We'll go freaking Dragapult. And I can D dance. Or I can just throw off. I can go hard darts. Because he's got Kilo Watch Roll. I think I want to dance. I think I want to dance. We dancing. Bro, I'm Ted dancing right now. Fuck it. He goes into Iron Valley. Oh. Oh, Kurt. He is poisoned. He is going to get his booster energy, which will raise his speed? No, it'll, that's going to raise... Yeah, 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 speed. We do, in fact, D-dance. Let's go. We are dancing. So I think we need to Phantom Force. I'm gonna disappear off into the distance. Goes for the Spirit Break. We are no longer around. He's gonna take a little bit more Poison Chip and hopefully a plus one life orb boosted uh, Phantom Force takes him out. Let's find out together. It does take him out. Let's go. Iron Valiant goes down. So he's got Annihilate, Kilo Watch Roll, and Scala Dirge left. I think Scala Dirge does eat these hits. But let's see. I've been pinged several times. Oh no. Oh no. He goes back into Annihilate. Okay. 
Okay. So. I'm going to Phantom Force again. Bro, you want to take turns being ghost types. Wait. Wait. Did I? Did I just fuck up? I think I fucked up! Because <laughs> now he's gonna... <laughs> oh, dude, that's so funny. That's so fucking funny. I didn't think he... Okay, I should have known he was gonna Phantom Force, but alas. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny, dude. Um, wow. Wow, we can go into Roaring Moon now and click Dragon Dance. We'll resist the hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we click D dance here. That's the pro like you can yeah you can do that and you can make me look like a real fucking silly goose, but uh, I will get the D dance up. Let me just make sure speed tier wise. Um, <laughs> God damn it, that's so funny. Um, that's, dude, the absolute chaos of these early games is always hilarious. Yeah, I got 119 speed, so after a D-Dance, I should outspeed him. Yeah, after a D-Dance, I should definitely outspeed him. Kilo Watcher comes in. This boy is not, uh, is not necessarily strong, so I'm going to crunch, and that should kill, because we are also Life Orb. Yeah, Kilo Watcher is going to go down. He's got Skelly Dirge and Annihilate left. Um, Skelly, I think, probably can't touch us very well. I still have a hunch that this thing, like... Oh, this thing's unaware, isn't it? I believe... I believe they're unaware. Uh, I'll just Earthquake, get as much damage as possible. We're still Life Orb. We are, in fact, still Life Orb. He does go for the Wisp. Yikes. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This was a mistake. Can confirm, was a mistake. Um, but he is poisoned. He is poisoned. So Earthquake does 200. Um, I guess we just gotta click it and hope Click it and hope. Wait, is he a fuck? He's a fucking ghost type. I should have crunched. What am I doing? This is the... Bro, this is... This is a silly goose off is what this is. Because he can slack off now. Oh, he hexed. Okay. Well, that was nice of him. So, I lost Pult. We just lost Roaring Moon. Um, it's all up to Surreal Edge now. It's all up to Surreal Edge now. Oh wait, it didn't kill us. That's actually great. I don't know why I assumed it would kill us. We can crunch now, because we are... We have... We've smartened up. We've learned from our mistakes. We have learned. We have... This is essentially a Hydreigon. <laughs> Okay, so now he's got the Annihilate. Now he's got Annihilate. And I don't believe we will kill with this here crunch. Um, I guess Outrage will probably do the most. We'll do Outrage, but we're burned. Okay, he's gonna Terra. Big spooky boy. It's in. It's in. Do we kill? Oh, we do just barely miss out on the kill. But he'll die to poison. And he's gonna phantom force. <laughs> what is it what does Game Freak have against physical ghost types where they refuse to uh, give them good moves, you know? We had poltergeist for a little while there. What happened? Alright, dude, Roaring Moon came through. Roaring Moon came through. Salamence from the freaking past came through and won this game for us, despite us playing 
like an absolute silly goose, dude. It makes sense that the background of that battle would be near a pond, because that's where silly gooses hang out at. So, GG's to Helios, I appreciate you coming through for the battle. Like, subscribe, do all that bullshit, as well as check out our boy, John. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.